In this video, I want to show how to run several services in a single container using systemd. So for this purpose, you need to use an image that is systemd enabled. That means that systemd is the uh, init system in that container. And these needs special container images. Not all container images are defined with systemd as the initial PID inside the container. So, uh, without getting too much involved in the uh, complex terminology, let's get into the job. So here I have a container file. You can see I am using UBI 8 in it as the base image from which I'm creating my container. In my container image and then I'm running DNF update to update the system and after that I'm creating the image by installing PHP FPM and also Apache web server HTTPD in order to have a working PHP server a working Apache server that is PHP enabled inside the container so then after that i'm running dnf clean all to remove the files that i don't need anymore and reduce the image size and finally i run systemctl enable php fpm and httpd this means that i'm enabling the fpm service as well as httpd service or apache service so now let's run this uh, run the build process so podman build dash t and I'm gonna run name this multi the image will be named multi and dot means run the container image build in the same directory as I'm running this command and start creating the image Okay, our image is created and now we can run it and test if we are able to run several services inside the container. So podman run and dash dash rm to remove it after stopping the container. Let's, uh, let's name it web and also publish ports. Let's publish on 8000 on the local host and forward forward it to 80 inside the container and also dash d for detached or dash dash detached yes detach and name of the image which is multi latest okay let's run this and see how it is running there we go we created the container the container is running we can make sure of it by running podman ps and you can see it is running now let's open a web browser i open firefox to see the output localhost 8000 you can see the default web page for the apache web server and in order to make sure that our Apache web server is able to serve PHP pages, PHP pages, we can go inside the container and create a PHP image uh, and create a PHP script and see if our web server is able to render PHP correctly. This will mean that PHP is connected to Apache and PHP uh, and our web server is PHP enabled. Okay, podman run, podman exec dash ti. Let's go inside web and bash 
okay let's go to var www.html and here i create a simple file a simple script let's name it index.php and inside it i simply use this function php info and i close the php tag this is the content of index.php now we can request that index.php file and there we go you can see that the php function was executed and it shows the php information the complete list of php information running on our server and also you can make sure that our server api or sapi is php fpm or fast cgi and this is a successful indication that our container is running both the apache service and the php fpm service in a single container and uh, this was thanks to the systemd that was enabled in our base container image ubi8 in it okay and we didn't need any uh, complex configuration like running uh, supervisor d in order to run several services at the same time that's it for this video i hope that you liked it please don't forget to like and subscribe see you in the next video